What makes you feel joy? Well, it's you guys. I love the work I do. I love the people I interact with. I have a lot of great friends and family, and I enjoy the hobbies I have and the pursuits I, uh, I go through. You know, um, believe it or not, I'm not a very complex guy from the perspective of lifestyle. You know, I don't really care if I'm rich, I'm poor. Food's gotten a little better. Traveling has gotten a little bit more luxurious, but the core is still the same, which is I wake up every day and I'm fascinated by things. Uh, for example, I heard through the grapevine, the loudest sound ever uh, recorded in human history, uh, recorded human history. There were louder sounds before, but um, we didn't write them down, was the eruption of Krakatoa, which is a volcano in Indonesia. It's nearby Bali. It's nearby um, Java and Sumatra. And it was 375 decibels. The space shuttle is 180, and that's a logarithmic scale. So it should give you a notion of how loud it was. Uh, contemporary accounts said that people in Australia and France could hear it. And the sound wave traveled around the world seven times before it dissipated. It led to waves that were 120 feet tall, like over 40 meters, to flow up and come crashing down over uh, over many of the surrounding islands in Indonesia. So I said, wow, that's an incredible event. And what makes Krakatoa so special as an event was that it wasn't the largest volcano to erupt in human history. In fact, um, just uh, 70 years earlier, Tambora uh, was uh, erupted. And that was actually a VEI-7 eruption, which was 10 times the size of uh, Krakatoa. What made it so special was that there were telegraph lines and a connected global economy. And this was the first time ever that something that happened in Indonesia was being followed and tracked by people in the United States and in Europe and in other places real time. And it's just a really amazing thing to think about that. So I bought this lovely book um, and I've been reading about the history of Krakatoa. The particular author likes going on these long tangents about when Jakarta was Batavia and uh, and, you know, the history of uh, the Wallace line and uh, other things like that. So it's it's very circuitous and serpentine, uh, but it's still a great read. I've been enjoying slowly working my way through it, <laughs> trying to keep track of um, all the history. Uh, but overall, it's been a, a joy. And it makes you just think that when technology meets an event and we live in a global community, things change. Like, for example, the eruption of Krakatoa led to a fundamental change in Islamic practices in Indonesia. Uh, you know, there was other macro events, global events that did that, but they went from kind of a blended Islamic culture, which, you know, anything goes, to much more fundamentalist culture. And little things like that. Why? Because it was such a catastrophic event that, you know, a lot of people could interpret it as God is angry. Um, and, you know, there's dozens of uh, other the religious sects in the United States were saying the end is near. Uh, if you look at Edwards um, painting the scream and that crazy red background, Krakatoa puts so much volcanic material into the sky and it dispersed across the entire world that there were red sunsets for years. And so uh, actually the Norwegians were seeing atmospheric changes due to Krakatoa. And that painting's uh, sky was actually a realistic representation of what somebody in Norway would have seen at the time 20 year, uh, 10 years after Krakatoa erupted. So just an amazing thing. So these are the kinds of things that make me feel joy. Is, you know, you hear about something and then it just turns out that somebody has spent decades of his or her life going very deep. And if you want to go down that rabbit hole, you can. And then seeing the, the delightful interconnectedness of humanity, how something in Indonesia could fundamentally changed the world. Um, Tambora, when it erupted in 1815, it, they call it the year without summer. It created a mini ice age for, for an entire year. Volcanoes are pretty special things.